All right, so one of the challenges to try to show Instagram or any app to a class is the operating system. My phone is an Android phone. You may have an iPhone. I have my iPhone at home. I use them both. They're both good kinds of phones. Um, it's just that they may look a little different or behave a little different. On my Android phone, you see here, you know, you have these icons. You're not going to see these icons on an iPhone. These are for Android to go back and so forth. So just ignore these icons at the bottom, at the very bottom. These are for Android only. Everything above here then is the main interface. And again, also obviously ignore the stuff at the very top over here. This is Android stuff about phone calls or whatever. So under the top bar and above this home bar is the real Instagram app. And even this may look a little different depending on various factors. Some versions on an Android device might have different icons. Some versions on an iPhone may have different icons. So if, you're, if your icon looks very different than what I say, if I say click on the little paper airplane icon, and you don't have a paper airplane icon, let me know because it, is, it could be very different on yours. But uh, should be in general just about the same. So the first thing that I see here when I get into Instagram, there's this interface with various icons either at the top or the bottom. Um, I suppose uh, maybe just from the top, I'll, I'll go in general. Um, top left corner is an icon to start to take a photo or a video. Uh, this is something that would go public to everyone. So anyone on Instagram could find my photo or video if I choose to go that way. This is supposed to be, I guess, an icon of a paper airplane and that is a direct message. Doing Sharing this way will share it to individual people that you've chosen and only those people can see it. So this is sort of like sharing public and sharing private. So I'll write some notes down here too. Or you can choose private or public. You press, you, you press the right one. You press the button for public or private. So at top, camera icon, public, shared, paper airplane, private sharing. Is there nothing there or a different icon? Well, it's at the bottom on yours? No. Okay. Okay, so now we won't do it completely just yet, but if I were to click on that icon of the camera, uh, again, we'll, we'll talk about sharing and all of that, and obviously there I can take an amazing selfie. But uh, we'll do that in a moment. So the other icon of the private sharing, if I click that, they call it direct. Uh, send disappearing photos and videos. Okay, yeah, great. So these things change. Uh, so that, that little airplane, I guess, you know, that's a direct, direct share. And then in my case, it says there, uh, turn on notifications, whatever, Instagram direct, send private photos, videos, and messages to a friend or a group. So this is that who you allow will see this content. Um, Again, works best for friends and family, but for a business purpose, you could use this as well to do a little bit of one-on-one -on -one customer, uh, you know, customer um, Q and A or uh, troubleshooting and such. I'll go back on the top section stories. Stories bar. Uh, there's you, and then there's who you are following. Yours and following. You, your story, your following 
stories. Who you are following their stories up here. We'll see how to make your own story in a little bit, but there's one story so far here. Instagram. The Instagram company published a story. So everyone that follows Instagram or everyone that you follow will be listed here. And if they have shared a story in the last 24 hours, you will be able to see it. Now, I'm not following Instagram, but they're the company, so they're going to show you something. Uh, I don't think you can really opt out of it because I'm not following Instagram on my personal account and all the time I'm seeing their stories, which I don't really don't want to. But I would tap on that. It's got an animation of spinning around that's kind of telling you this is new. Check this out before it goes away. You only have 24 hours. Quick, click on it. And then uh, when I click it, the icon might change. And then so here, they're showing you that they have yet another system, just like uh, yet another social network. Now you can put cool icons and dog ears on yourself, just like Snapchat. So it was kind of choppy, but it's just the nature of my screen capture. Basically, it was an animation telling you that now you can do face filters. Oh, that sounds like Snapchat. It's exactly like Snapchat. So the networks, again, continue to copy each other. So what this is saying is now what you'll be able to do, if you take a selfie, you'll be able to do something fun, like put hearts in your eyes or cupid arrows in your head or dog ears on yourself. So figuring out how to do that for business purposes and what's the purpose of that for business, that's the challenge. Mm -hmm. That a lot of this is more for like, you know, a fun, friendly, juvenile audience perhaps. To figure out how to do this for business purposes, that's still a challenge. So all that was was a little advertisement that says, don't forget to check out our new face filters. You can click the button there and then what will happen. Yeah, it's really choppy here. You don't see it, but on here, he's getting shot by Cupid arrows in the head. Okay, so that's well, kind of frozen now, I guess. Connection was lost. Okay, so this is this commonly happens, unfortunately. This is very common that this happens, and obviously when we don't want it to happen now, it's happening. But just wait a moment here. Hopefully I can fix this so that I can continue to show you my screen. Okay, sorry about that. So here it is again. Um, okay, so at the top there was uh, stories. 
Then there's a, an empty spot, basically, welcome to Instagram, I don't see anything, my account has not followed any account, there's nothing to see. So Instagram will try to tell you, why not connect with your Facebook friends? You probably have, you know, a dozen, two dozen, whatever, 500 connections on Facebook. So it says, why not connect your Facebook account to Instagram so you can see your friends, if they're on Instagram, you'll see their stuff. You may do that if you'd like, but again, we're using uh, Instagram for the purposes of, purposes of business. So you might not want to connect with your friends and family. You want to connect with new customers. The challenge always is building customers. And in the last month and a half that we've been talking in this class, we've talked a lot about strategies of getting followers. Uh, at the bottom, well, quick note here, stories bar, uh, content that is only active for 24 hours. You've got main timeline, any content, so that's pictures, videos, collages, boomerangs, whatever, any content from who you follow, who you follow, shows up there. So in the main area of Instagram there, right in the middle here, their stuff shows up. At the bottom, you've got several icons. Home icon, that's what I'm currently looking at. So any account that I'm following, I will see their stuff here. Uh, next to it, I have a magnifying glass. If I click that, this is the discovery screen. This is a great place to figure out uh, what is hot, hashtags, activity. This is the place that you that will help you figure out how to use Facebook effectively. The magnifying glass here, search. So what happens here? Search. So search hashtags, accounts, find content, live events, get inspiration, or competitor analysis. We've talked about in different networks that you need to check what your competition is doing. Uh, you don't have to go as far as following your competition, but you will be able to uh, see what they're doing, uh, what they're tweeting, what they're posting, who they're following, who are their followers, because all of this is public unless they change it to private. So you do have a value in checking your competition. So what I'm seeing here in this particular case, there are things that are live. So someone right now, top live, some account called top live or whatever is live right now. I don't think I'm really going to run some of these videos and such. It seems maybe it's going to crash my system. But at the top here, I can actually scroll over. It might not be obvious, but I'm using my finger to scroll over. So National Geographic has an account, and of course the Kardashians do, and Instagram, and San Diego. So I guess the city of San Diego or the tourism board of San Diego, they've got an account. So various stories are up there. How does it know what I might like? It doesn't because I just created the account. It may really think I want to see, you know, Khloe Kardashian's things, which I assure you I don't. And so it doesn't know what I want just yet. So it's going to show me various uh, possible things. Maybe I don't want to see the National Geographic stuff. But as you use Instagram, as you post photos, as you fill in your biography, as you give likes, it'll start to understand what you're interested in and show you what you're interested in. For a business, I'm Victor's Bakery. I wanted to show me content regarding baking or cooking or healthy eating and kids, baking with kids and such. So at the moment, it's just kind of random, popular things. Uh, that's an epic head of hair right there. No, I guess it's not hair. What's that? No, I, I, I'm not going to click on one of those up there. Most likely, it might crash my system. I'm just looking at, at what's up there. 
So at the top there, those are stories or people that are live. So this screen has a lot to look at here. It's one of the most important screens. So uh, search screen, top, displays, live, broadcasts, or popular stories. Popularity comes from how many followers do they have, how many likes do they have, you know, the usual. Popularity breeds popularity. So yes, you could one day be listed up here or down here if you are popular. And the question is, how do I get popular? Well, you haven't been paying attention for a month and a half in this class, if you have to ask that. So uh, this is a place where you can get found and where you can search. Uh, it's not so obvious because it's just going to show you content. Like if I start to scroll up, I'm going to see all of this stuff. Um, this little photo and people's cars and all of that. So there's Snoop Dogg, there's a dog. Oh, that's Ellen. So Ellen the Generous is on it. That's a photo there. And anyway, it's just a bunch of random stuff at the moment because it doesn't know what's important to you yet. What's not obvious, what I was saying is at the very top, not so obvious, search. It's so easy to lose track of that because when you scroll up it goes away. But here is the search search screen. So top displays live broadcast. Next, popular photo, individual photos or video from popular viral accounts. At the very top, search. So all that we talked about on the previous networks on how you use search on Twitter, on Facebook, etc. also apply here. You're going to search hashtags, keywords, etc. You're going to apply what we've learned previously. But if I were to click on that search box, then the screen changes to another screen. So I think this whole thing is pretty confusing the first time you see it because I'm inside of, first of all, I'm inside of the search screen, this discovery screen, magnifying glass. Then if I click on the search at the top, it changes to show me. You're going to search keywords and you will get results of top people, uh, top content, results of people with those hashtags or keywords, hashtag specifically places. So if I search here cats, as I'm typing, it may suggest possibilities. Do you mean hashtag cats? It has 49 million public posts. Do you mean cats of Instagram hashtag? That's 60 million posts. Do you mean the account cats of the world? Do you mean the account cats on Broadway, the musical? I can, uh, I can look at those or avoid it by just pressing the little... I can start to type a keyword or hashtag and just press the search button there. I can ignore those for the moment. The results then will be top or oops, or people. So people or businesses. We need a better word for that. But if I look under people, these are accounts that have the word cats either in their username or full name or biography. So the biography helps you get found to some degree. But depending on what your words are there, you are in competition with a lot of others. Tags, well, cat uh, hashtags, cats, cats on Instagram, cat suit, uh, cats on Instagram, and it tells you how many people are using that hashtag. And places. So locations that have that name. Let's say uh, I'm going to search for hashtag cookies. So the top results is going to mix in a variety of things, then people, tags, and places. Looking at people, again, these are people that have the, the keyword cookies in their name. 
hashtag. Okay, these are possible hashtags. Cookies, cookies and cream, and places. Click on search at the top in the search screen. Then you can find people, hash tags, places, top results. Let's say you're looking for cookies in San Diego. Is there a way that you could type in San Diego? Yeah, you can do that as well here. So if I if I first do the hashtag cookies and then San Diego. It will try to find instances of that. Now, I, I would like it that it would find um, that I would be able to search only San Diego tweets uh, or posts with cookies hashtag, but it doesn't look like it lets us do that. I would love to tailor my search only for a location, but it won't let us do that. The closest is that we would search for those keywords and it conceivably could be someone in New York typing or doing something about cookies San Diego but they're in New York. So cookies by San Diego. Yes? When you search for something and then uh, click on the places, it doesn't show the closest places to you? Um, not exactly closest because you see here I did search Cookie San Diego and the places that are being shown are University Avenue, uh, Poway, Harbor Drive. So in the sort of area of San Diego but not really close like on Arrow Drive. No, I mean without San Diego, if you search on the places. The reason that you get places is because first you search a result. If you only search cookies and then, and then places, I'm getting Los Angeles, Pasadena, Santa Monica. Okay. It doesn't work for Not for really. No. Different places. Mm -hmm. How do they come up? They pay more? They could, or it could be simply because that account also has a lot of activity. The short answer often is yeah, if you pay more, you will often come up more. But if you don't want to pay and instead you are active and post often and be active, that's another way to get you to come up more. Do you have any idea how many business marketing is coming to this respect to Google search? No, um, not exactly because each company is a little bit different. I can kind of give examples on clients I've worked with, but I don't have enough information to tell you in general. But I think there's probably statistics and uh, articles and such on sites like Social Media Examiner where they do more of that research. So uh, we can look at this search screen a little bit more, but you would do the same thing that here that you would do, for example, on Twitter, that you would go follow this account, make a message to another account, like their content, etc., as we've talked before. So I'm going to go back so I can look at my other screens. There's a plus sign at the bottom. I think on the iPhone it looks like a different icon, but uh, there's a plus. I'll get back to that one. That's the same as like the camera on the top left, so I'll skip it for the moment. Next is the heart or likes. So we've got main timeline. We've got, uh, let's see, search. Okay, so we've got at the bottom bar, home icon takes you back to where you see, oh, I already wrote it up here, main timeline, main timeline. Then we've got search, then we've got share, like the camera at top left, and we've got likes. So see activity, think of it more as the activity screen see activity on your content. Who followed you will be listed here. Who commented to you? Who liked your photo? That activity you will see here on this screen. Or the activity of 
who you follow. Because you can see at the top, you are following. If I switch to following, there's nothing here. Because I just made this up, just made this account up. But there's you and following. So if I'm getting likes and all of that, I will see it here. But as I follow accounts, I will see the activity of those accounts. This, is, this can be very good and very bad. This can be very good or very embarrassing. Because as you use Instagram and you like this photo, and you comment on that photo, and you follow this account, other people can see what you have done. You might then be able to figure out why that may be embarrassing. But for your point of view, if I'm following 10 accounts, I will see what they're doing to some degree. Not every single thing, but more than you think will be listed here. So if I follow John Smith uh, and I choose to go to the screen, I can see that John Smith liked that movie photo or this video about, the, about nature or whatever, or this or that other embarrassing thing that they liked. So there's you and there's following. Yes? Down here on this little heart. So uh, see the activity on your content or the activity of who you follow. Useful for competitor analysis. You can see what the competition is up to. The last icon is user. The last icon down here is about you or your account, your account icon. So clicking on that icon down there shows I don't have a company logo, I don't have a biography, I don't have followers or posts. Everything that I have shared, all the photos and video and all of that that is permanent that I've shared, will show up here. I can view it in a couple of different ways, like a grid, like a list, or as a tag. At the top, it's going to keep nagging me about turning on notifications. So um, this is often useful. I just don't have it on, on this account. Notifications are, of course, that the phone notifies you that something happened. As a business, I want to keep up to date that customers are liking my content, that customers are asking me questions. I want to get notified. So probably I want to turn that on. I want to get notified. I want my phone to buzz and to tell me something happened. Now the problem could be is that you could have too much activity and then this is constantly going off and then that's annoying. Well, that's a good problem to have, but that's annoying. So that can be turned on or off in the settings. I'll show you settings in a moment. Yeah. How do the notifications just to your Facebook? You said that already. How do you want other? No, that it, it is kind of different. This one is about notifications about what's happening on Instagram. Okay. The other one about Facebook was if you choose to add to upload your Facebook contacts then it will notify your friends and family, hey, John is on uh, Instagram, why don't you join? That's a little different than this. Yeah, you, will, you, you could also connect to other address books if you want in the settings. Where you see all that you have posted, your bio, logo, who you follow, and your followers. What you have saved. In the share part, I'm not seeing the Oh, okay, so it's on the, the main page. It should either be on, on the main page, or that plus sign is also the share, although it's an icon of a plus instead of a camera. Okay. 
oh, when yes. I opened the account, my account, um, my the contacts that were my Facebook contacts that shows and my things are pretty fun. So followed, I guess I'll also say requested in some other words a different when it says to follow who you know on Facebook, that means they already have an account on Instagram and you can follow them to see their stuff. Request is uh, that, you, that they don't have an account and you're saying requesting them, hey, why don't you get on Instagram? Join us on Instagram. We're all having fun here. Yeah, or vice versa. Okay, so then uh, that, that, there's a few more icons then at the top here. What would you say this icon looks like without clicking it? What is, do you think that icon looks like? What's that? Bookmark? I heard someone say bookmark. Bookmark. That's supposed to be like a bookmark. So this is the thing about uh, idiogrammatic communication, which means communicating with icons. Some people get the icons, some people don't. Like over here. Um, how many of you right away thought that this was more like a pin on a map? That might be a pin on a map. How many of you thought it was a magnifying glass? Three of you. How many of you thought it was that little bird that goes up and down and touches the water? <laughs> <laughs> so that's the thing about communicating with icons. Some people get it, some people don't. Uh, there's no universal ones like over here. Oh yeah, this is the icon where you go to write a message because it looks like the tip of a calligraphy pen. <laughs> And this is the one where you achieve your inner peace because you're going to balance a ball on a pedestal. <laughs> now, uh, the icons at the top here, <clears throat> this bookmark icon, uh, this is where, if you click on that, <clears throat> this is where you can save stuff for private. The issue, I guess, was such an issue that when when you look at someone else's photo, and like, let's say this photo is a really photo, funny photo of a fox. I have various icons below a photo, and I'll get to these icons in a moment, but one of the icons is to like. If I like a photo, this is again what I'm saying that my followers can see my screen of following to see what I have liked. And so I may forget I'm in the company Instagram account, and I'm liking things that I shouldn't be liking from the company account. So that's going to show up here. Instagram, I guess, thought it was such a big deal or a big problem that they created a different kind of like, which is a bookmark, which is private. Only the account that bookmarked the photo will see that photo. Your followers will not see your activity in the following screen. user screen bookmarks this is up here what you have saved I should call it what you have bookmarked only you see what you have bookmarked that's a possible way to sort of gather a collection of things to uh, to use as inspiration or um, can the person who you bookmarked see that you bookmarked their stuff? That's a good question. I'm not exactly sure on that if if it is if it is going to show that. Okay, so uh, unfortunately, at the moment, there's one of these. This is the influence of Instagram. Of, this is the influence of Facebook. It suddenly locked me out of this fake account because now it wants me to confirm with a real number to show you a real person. So I have to log in with a real account. Um, right, there's no way to get around this. So let me um, log in with a real with a real account.